Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is 1988's Generation 1, Fire Cons. Now, the Fire Cons hitting the shelves in 1988 meant they arrived a little too late to appear in the Transformers animated series, though they did appear animated in their television commercial, along with the Seacons and Sparkabots. Here come the Sparkabots. And when the fighting man is his sparks, sparks fly as the fire comes battle the Sparkabots. Each sold separately. Transformers, got the power to surprise. The fire cons made their first appearance in Marvel Comics in issue number 46, where it was shown that they were Decepticon prison guards on Cybertron. And they only appeared in a couple of panels and never in their alt mode, only in robot mode. Now it was later said in issue number 80 in a situation report that Cindersaur here had accidentally incinerated his fellow Firecon brother, Sparkstalker. So that's pretty much it for the history of the Firecons in the fiction. Now let's take a look at these mediocre toys with a fairly cool gimmick. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In their alt modes, the fire cons are a little weird. They're based on mythological or fantasy creatures, and we'll start things off by looking at Flame Feather first. As you can tell, he's some sort of bird monster. And surprisingly, these guys have some really great molded detail. You can see the feathers all along the head sculpt. The beak looks really good. You got the eyes right there. Feathers along the legs, down here for the feet. You see the claws. The wings, you can also see feathers right there. So really, really cool looking beast mode. Now articulation, he's G1. There's not much articulation. The arms go up and down and the legs go back and forth. And that's pretty much it. Now to transform Flame Feather, what you're gonna do is take the tail, bring it up, or bring it down rather, it'll unsnap right there, and bring the legs forward. Then you're gonna take the wings, spread the wings apart, revealing the robot head, and then push the bird head back, bring the tail all the way up, and there you have Flame Feather in robot mode. And these guys are not much to look at. That, that's all you got. You got a fairly decent G1 head sculpt right there. Very square, yellow face, yellow painted eyes with a blue helmet. You can see the arms are decent molded. You got some fists right there. I do like how with the legs, you have the back of the leg, which forms the beast, has the beast leg, and the front of the leg is robot. So there you go, that's robot mode for Flame Feather. No articulation whatsoever unless you move the legs. The arms are stuck in that static pose. So now let's take a look at Cindersaur. Now Cindersaur is the only one of these guys that has been re-released in newer lines as an upgraded figure. You had the 2010 BotCon Cindersaur, which is a repaint of, I believe it was Armada Megatron, Armada Beast Megatron. 
Then you had the 2013 Bot Shots Cinder Sore. And then you had the Titans Return Cinder Sore, which was a repaint of Dinobot Slash. So Cinder Sore, once again, lots of molded details. And I really can't tell if this is supposed to be a reptile or a wolf monster. And neither could the artist from the UK. He was portrayed as a wolf monster and a reptile. So lots of nice molded details, pretty decent paint applications. He's got a horn right there on his nose, spikes there on the back. Got some spikes on the tail, some molded... <laughs> like I said, you can't tell if that's fur or scales. Articulation, the exact same as flame feather. Arms can move back and forward. Legs can move back and forward. Transformation, basically the same too. Bring the tail back, unsnaps right there. Bring the legs forward. Take the back section and fold out. Now mine is a little stiff. There we go. And bring the head back. Fold the arms down. Tail all the way up. And there is Flame Feather in robot mode. Now I do like his robot mode better. Excuse me, there is Cindersaur in robot mode. I do like Cinder Sore's robot mode better than Flame Feather. It's just the colors just work a lot better. Face sculpt, about the same. It's a square head, green face, green eyes. Got the arms right there with the molded in fists. Same deal with the legs, beast leg and back, robot leg in the front. And the articulation sucks on this guy as well. His legs move forward and that is it. I did put a Decepticon insignia on his chest don't know why i didn't on flame feather so anyway there is cinder sore next up is my favorite this is spark stalker and i just think this guy looks so cool he's some kind of reptilian insect he just he looks badass he's just I, I love this one this is so cool i like the mandibles with the beak right there he's got these weird claw manis arms not really a lot of sculpted detail on this one, though. He's like a very smooth insect-like creature. Wings kind of look robotic on this one, opposed from the organic look of the other two. Now, articulation on this guy. Same thing. Arms up and down, legs back and forward. So now, let's go ahead and get him transformed. Exact same transformation. You'll see his tail. He's got a forked tail. So, yeah, really like this guy. So, bringing the tail back. Now, his tail, for some reason, doesn't have the little snap section. So, I'm not sure why that. Bring the legs down. Spread the wings. Fold the head back. Move the arms down. And there we have Flame Feather in his robot mode. Another very plain-looking robot. Square head, blue face, blue eyes, molded in arms, molded in fists and articulation the legs that is it so yeah not much to write home about with the robot mode but i do like his so now let's take a look at the firecon gimmick so the gimmick with the firecons is that you roll them along the ground you got this little rubber wheel right here that catches a flint on the inside that causes sparks to shoot out of their mouth so you kind of get them in this position here with the legs back, the arms forward. That way you can roll them across the ground to activate the gimmick. I'm not sure if this will work or not. I know out of the three I have, this one here was the only one who sparked. So let me go ahead and turn the lights off to see if we can get any type of sparking action going on. All right, so let's see what we got. Just kind of roll him along the... I don't know if you guys... Yep. There we go. Oh, he's sparking a lot better than he was earlier when I tried him out. So yeah, that's that's how these guys work. Of course, I'm sure when he was brand new, he sparked a lot better. And those are like a cold spark. They're, you don't have to worry about catching your house on fire with these figures. But I do think it's pretty cool that that still works. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here's the 1988 Generation 1 Fire Cons with Generation 1 Megatron, Titans Return Cindersaur, and Kingdom Vertebrake. 
1988 Generation 1 Fire Cons are great examples of some weird Transformer toys that took advantage of those late 80s gimmicks. I can only imagine how fun these figures were back in the day. Now, when they came out in 1988, I kind of outgrown Transformers, so I didn't get to experience these fresh out of the package. But man, I bet the kids had a blast playing with these guys on the floor, just shooting those sparks out with their imaginary battles. Unfortunately, they're just not great Transformer toys. The Beast Modes look okay, but the Robot Modes are garbage. So there you go, guys. The 1988 Generation 1 Fire Cons, Flame Feather, Cinder Soar, and Spark Stalker. So, do the 1988 Generation 1 Fire Cons belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 completionist, absolutely. Other than that, these are an easy skip. I mean, the gimmick's cool, but it's really hard to find these guys that still work over 30 years later. I was really surprised that old uh, Spark Stalker here worked as well as he did. As I said in the video, when I tried him out before I started filming, I couldn't get him to spark at all, so he really surprised me. So yeah, I mean, if you want them, I think you can still get them fairly cheap on eBay, but other than that, they're an easy pass. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge heartfelt thank you to all my current members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!